This is a question that has been on the minds of people for quite some time. Relationships can only be exciting and interesting when it is with the right person. Otherwise, it becomes a burden that you have to bear. Even though people date for fun, have short stints and move on, they know deep down that they are searching for something that will last and that can only happen when you are with the one. However, many people go about looking for love the wrong way. They put themselves out there, trying to catch the attention of people they perceive to be right for them. This particular action instead puts them in the danger of being taken advantage of. And it could be on both sides, either for the male or female. In recent times, most people tend to focus on the physical attributes of a person rather than the person's personality or character. Are they tall, beautiful, dark, fair, handsome or athletic? Do they have a good job or come from a rich family? Or are they famous and well known? All of these can be attractive at the initial stage, but they are superficial and can be quite misleading. A beautiful person does not mean a beautiful heart and riches can cover up several flaws. So, these should not be a yardstick for knowing the one. Eventually, you get to choose from the circle of friends you have and the people you associate with. There is a common saying, show me your friend and I will tell you who you are. In essence, you attract your kind of person. After all, birds of a feather flock together. If the people who come around you are not the kind you find to be your preference, it might just be that you are portraying the wrong attitude. If you want to attract the right person, here are five things you should do. Be the kind of person you want to attract. This is the basic point you will want to deal with if you will attract the right person. You have to become the right person. What are the qualities you desire in that person? Do you have those qualities yourself? Do you want a loving, caring, kind, spirit-filled man or lady? Have you worked on yourself to be those things? You see, the fruit does not fall far from the tree. You cannot hang around clubs all weekends and expect to get a church girl or boy. You cannot sit indoors all days and expect to come to the attention of a fun-loving, adventurous person. Location, visibility and character are all important factors that play major roles in the kind of people you attract. So, the first thing to do is not to make a list or go on dating sites to connect to people. Instead, look within and work on yourself. Be the kind of person that you would love to attract. You want them smart? Be smart. You want them to be spirit-filled? Grow in the fruits of the spirit. You want them intelligent? Build yourself in that direction. Imagine you meet the person of your dreams and they do not pay attention to you because you cannot communicate on the same level. That would be really devastating. So, build yourself in every aspect so you will be ready when the right person comes knocking. This is the first rule to attracting the right person. Be the right person. Be yourself. In trying to attract people to ourselves, we sometimes tend to overreact, smoothen the rough edges and show only the glamorous parts of ourselves. In the end, you only end up attracting people who are interested in those things you have displayed rather than your real self. And how long do you think you can put up the act? Eventually you get tired of acting around that person or it becomes burdensome trying to be the perfect person. When they find out who you really are, they may likely end the relationship seeing that they were deceived in the first instant. Do your best to overcome the urge to be perfect. Instead, settle for being your best self. If someone does not love you for who you are, they do not deserve to be with you. The right person will love you despite your flaws. We are humans and in the end, no one is perfect. Sometimes, we put on an act in a bid to get someone's attention only to realize that we have ruined our chances. Imagine being a naturally quiet person, but to get the attention of that man or lady, you decide to become a talkative and speak out loud among your friends to draw their attention. Then, 
You later discover that your attitude put him or her off as they prefer the other version. Or you got their attention as you wished, but do not find it in you to continue the act. It's not worth it. Sometimes we have to let go of our fantasies and become realistic. The person you fantasize about might not be the right one for you in the end. The mental picture you had might not play out the same way in reality. So get out of your head and come back to earth. Be yourself, do your thing, drop the pretense, be down to earth and watch the right person walk into your life, spark up romance and you will find yourself in the best relationship you can ever imagine. Real people are hard to find these days and so it is one of the qualities most people look out for in a prospective partner. If you cannot be real, you will end up having fake affection. If you can be true to yourself, you will find yourself in a relationship with the right person, one that is real and free of the pretense that shades most relationships these days. Be independent. Many people out there are needy and cannot afford to be alone. They just want to be in a relationship so they have someone to dump their emotional burdens on. Independence is an attractive trait that draws most people. Everybody likes a focused person who knows what they want and can get it without necessarily depending so much on anybody. It is a strength that both men and women find attractive, with so much weight to carry both emotionally, physically and in other areas. People want to settle for someone who would help them alleviate those burdens rather than increase them. There is a need to develop yourself as an individual. Be strong mentally and physically. You do not have to be in a relationship to be happy or to achieve things. Focus on the things that make you happy, on your strengths as an individual. When you eventually get into a relationship, your presence there will be an addition instead of a burden. When you put yourself out there as being needy or clingy, you only end up in toxic relationships or with people who take advantage of your need. Have high self-esteem. You must know your worth as a person. Otherwise, anybody can walk into your life and take you for a ride. Everybody loves a confident person, someone who is comfortable in their skin and can stand for their rights any time, any day. Admittedly, some people get into relationships out of pity, but you will admit that it seldom works out or one or both parties come to resent their partners in that relationship. You do not need anyone to validate who you are or tell you what you're worth, not even popular opinion. Take an adventure of self-discovery and find hidden treasures within yourself. Have a high opinion of yourself because the way you see yourself will affect the way others perceive and relate with you. If you see yourself as being weak, you end up attracting weak people to yourself or worse still, predators that will only take undue advantage of you. If on the other hand, you perceive yourself as being strong, confident and all that, you will not settle for less than you deserve. Besides, people can take a cue from you and relate with you based on your perception of yourself. As much as possible, work on your self-esteem, dress smart and confident, walk with your head high, shoulders straight and keep speaking words of affirmation to yourself. Learn to love yourself first, otherwise you may find it difficult to find true love. True love starts with loving oneself. Do not be desperate. Whatever you do, do not become desperate to be in a relationship or to find love. It is the exact recipe for disaster and you would find yourself with the wrong person. Do not allow social media to put you on pressure or the lives of other people. Some people go as far as identifying who they want to be with, hanging around them, watching their every moves, always on the person's social media handle, basically stalking them. When you do these, it shows that you do not think highly of yourself and no responsible person in their right mind would ever think of being in a relationship with you. There is no rush and you are not in a competition with anybody. So take your time, 
love yourself, focus on things that make you happy and just keep getting better. The right person will come into your life when the time is right.